In this video, we'll be creating a crawler to scrape for content insights on Reddit. We'll be working in the Growth Hacking subreddit, and we'll be using Simple Scraper to do the scraping. You can install Simple Scraper at simplescraper.io. You'll need to be using Google Chrome in order to install it. We'll be using Simple Scraper's free plan for this project. However, if you continue to run your scraper through Simple Scraper and you do hit the limit of their free plan, which is outlined on their pricing page, you will need to upgrade your plan. As mentioned for this project, we're going to be crawling for content insights in the Growth Hacking subreddit. For each post, we're going to be scraping the title and the amount of upvotes. The idea behind doing this will be for you, as a marketeer, to gain insights as to what content you can create to attract eyeballs. For convenience, I've timestamped this video in the description, and just from a legal standpoint, I've linked an article there which highlights the legalities of web scraping. It's important. Before we configure our web scraper, I want to scrape the initial posts on this subreddit to ensure it returns the correct data. To begin, go to reddit.com forward slash r forward slash growth hacking. As mentioned, we're going to scrape the title and the amount of upvotes for each post. With the simple scraper extension open, it will allow us to select the first data point that we want to scrape by clicking the plus sign. First, we want to scrape the titles of each post. Everything highlighted in green will be scraped. We can name this data point title and click the tick next to it to set it for when we run the scraper. Second, we want to scrape the amount of votes. Again, we click the plus sign, then select the amount of votes that a particular post has gained. And as we can see, it has highlighted all the data points that will be scraped when we run this scraper. We can name this votes and click the tick to set it for when we run this. Now, before we run this, I want to click the infinite loop option and I want to scroll down the page. Reason being, when we get to setting our crawler up, I want it to automatically recognize that this page is an infinitely scrolling page, hence I want it to go through it for me when we run this scraper. To run the scraper, simply click View Results. Once the scraper has run, Simple Scraper will work its magic and return the data we selected. Now we're going to go further, turning this web scraper into a crawler. It's going to be far more powerful. Before we configure our crawler, we must save our settings for this scraper, otherwise referred to as recipes in Simple Scraper. To save your recipe, click Save Recipe on the left hand side. Once you've clicked, you'll be prompted to complete this page. So let's do that. Recipe name, let's write Reddit Content insights. URL is the correct URL as we're in the growth hacking subreddit. Selected properties, title and votes. These are the data points that we selected when we scraped the data from the page and those are the data points that we want to obtain. And then page navigation. I'm going to set this to four. Now, if you set up the infinite scroll option correctly, here is where you will be able to define how many times you want Simple Scraper to crawl through the infinite pages. Of course, you can select as high a number as you want or as low as a number, but I'm just going to select four for this project. Now click Create Recipe. Once you've saved your recipe, it should appear under My Recipes on the left hand side. Click onto that recipe. Once you're there, click Run Recipe along the top. Simple Scraper will then crawl that subreddit and return the data you wanted to obtain. 
our data points being title and votes. The crawler takes varying amounts of time to run, depending on how many times you told it to scroll down. In our case, we did four. As we can see, the crawler has been through the pages and returned the data points we requested. The crawler also attaches other information which we can delete when we export the data. But it has crawled what we wanted it to in order to gain content insights. From here, you could download this file either as a CSV file to analyze, or what you could do is export it to Google Sheets. So if you click on the integrate page, and you can connect this data to Google Sheets, and you can then sort the sheet to see which pieces of content will be most valuable for you to create going forward. This project is now complete. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this no-code project, please give this video a like. And if you want to be notified of the latest no-code projects that I publish every week, please subscribe. I'll see you in another no-code project.